What, what do you guys think is worse? Do you think bombing is worse or when the audience does not understand you? <laughs> Like, for language reasons or so cultural references. So, bombing is like, we understood that, but we hated it. Yeah, exactly. And understanding yeah, yeah. is like, mm-hmm. what? I, I feel like I have a less of an excuse for myself if, if I'm bombing and they understand. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. for that, that kind of puts a fire under my ass. Mm-hmm. But whenever they don't understand, then I'm like, oh, fuck, man. Am I in the wrong country? Yeah. And then I look at a map and I go, oh, I'm definitely in the wrong country. <laughs> <laughs> you look at a map and then you look at your yarmulke and you're like, oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh no, that's bad. There's actually a map on the inside of my yarmulke. Like, <laughs> it says yeah, Germany. Man. It says don't go. <laughs> 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 Crossed off. Why didn't I listen to my yarmulke? <laughs> <laughs> you, look, you look at a map of Germany, a map of Israel, you're like, oh, they're not the same shit. Oh, yeah. shit. Um, My goodness. <laughs> uh, one thing I've really learned that's really helped me, I think, um, and I don't talk about this a lot, is, but I don't, I don't perform at, in them as much, but I was doing poetry slams for a while, German poetry slams. Yeah. And I was doing it in English, and I was always like the novelty English act. And uh, when I first started, they're like, you can't do stand-up comedy here because I'll do like just random jokes for five minutes. So then I found a way to build them into a story and s- pretend that was a poem sort of, you don't have to rhyme though. <laughs> but w- what's, what was great about it is that those audiences are all 99 to hundred percent Germans. So you learn like they all speak pretty good English, but you learn very quickly what idioms they don't get and what big words they don't get and what big words you have to talk slower on. And that, that really helped me just performing for like international audiences in general. That's yeah, good. Yeah, it gave yeah, me like yeah, yeah. a sixth sense of what an, interna- an international audience would understand. So I can actually sit and listen to like American or Canadian comedians now. And I know, I can predict when a joke won't work sometimes mm. based on what idioms they're using. Do you, think, yeah. do you think we perform to the same kind of people too much? Yeah. Yeah, the same kind of people. I mean, I, I, I think uh, we've all performed at the Edinburgh Festival. Did you go as well, Alex? No, I didn't. didn't. Yeah, and I think that they're a really different type of audience and it took, takes a while to get used yeah. to um, it, a different mindset. Like, yeah. And you know what? The, the, Kind of that they're the audience that doesn't really want to be there. Actually, and it, it is completely <clears throat> at Edinburgh. Completely, a little bit, Turns a little bit. I mean, you get people that have just like they're at the festival and they've just slept in because it's a yeah. free show or it's raining on at that time or it's raining. Yeah, uh, but, but is that good though? Performing for an audience that doesn't want to be there. No, but it's more of a challenge. Yeah, and our only challenge is people that don't really get the language that well. Yeah, okay. and don't really react in the way. Yeah. that we we think they should react is like the textbook way to react mm. at a comedy show. Yeah. But, I, I, but I see the appeal of uh, like you you know how to make an you, you learn how to make an audience laugh that doesn't want to laugh at you. Mm-hmm. Like that sounds good. Yeah. But on the other hand, it's like if you're a baker and you're baking bread for people that don't eat, yeah, they just hate gluten bread. intolerant. Mm-hmm. Uh, I call it uh, crybabies. Um, so at some point, you just don't you just end up like baking something different that they want to eat, but then you don't bake bread anymore, which is what you wanted to do. I oh, know. I'm so lost sense. in this That's analogy. how cakes were invented. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Would, is, is bread a different kind of joke or is it a fucking poetry slam? You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, basically. Cause, because, because what kills an Edinburgh? Because like, if bread is a different, if like... Uh, if, jokes kill an Edinburgh. Yeah, yeah if, uh, if another, uh, uh, if, if what's working for the audience isn't what I would consider stand-up, then fuck that. I'm not going to bake whatever that is. Yeah. Um, uh, but if, it, if it's, I still consider it stand-up and I just change the joke and the references and I'm doing something to connect more with the people, then that's legitimate. And all of a sudden would, you have and a prop do that. and then we speak a different I, uh, language and they do a little dance no, and no, then you're a no, stripper. No, like, you know what, but... Um, <laughs> One thing leads to another. Uh, which would <laughs> be You're giving hand jobs in an alley Honestly, in Amsterdam. Me, getting yeah. a, me, me being naked upside down, flipping around with a pole <laughs> while people throw singles at me would be the funniest thing I've ever done on stage. <laughs> so maybe I, I should consider that. Yeah. Comics no, I think you'd bomb at that too. <laughs> <laughs> you call that a penis? <laughs> oh man, I really gotta like, work on up, my mom. penis material. Shut up, mom. <laughs> Your dick is a joke. I don't know. I've never gone to a stripper that uh, uh, actually had to do like a bringer show. <laughs> a bringer! <laughs> <laughs> you get two minutes. <laughs> two two minutes. We pull, two minutes. We pull your name out of a hat. Um, crystal chandeliers. Yeah, Are you yeah. here? Yeah. I guess she's gone. <laughs> oh man. So next person taking off their clothes on stage. Daniel Bez, everybody. Yeah. Daniel Bez, and it's like, how was it, man? You got the two. I didn't even get my shoes off <laughs> before I got the light. You get your shoes off first, man. Yeah. We're spoiled here in Berlin, man. I walk up, my dick is out already. Yeah. People haven't even noticed. <laughs> maybe maybe there's like a host and they do a little stripping in between. Like they do a little, <laughs> they test out some new material in between. 
<laughs> they're doing crowd work. What's your name, sir? Talking to the tit. Like, I don't know. <laughs> or the dick. I don't know. <laughs> so, where are you from? And it's just like a guy with his dick out. He's swirling it around. <laughs> he's doing the helicopter. <laughs> That's his hosting work. <laughs> is that a legitimate move, the helicopter? Do you know what the helicopter is? No. It's okay, a that's, it's, it's a it's a flaccid penis move, <laughs> and um, <laughs> it's a genre of moves. It's a genre of flaccid <laughs> penis moves. Right, you know? okay. Your next comedy album, flaccid penis move. Yeah, <laughs> and, <laughs> we have the title uh, of the podcast. Um, right? it's, it's just when you it's when you uh, uh, grab uh, the shaft at the base and then you you know <laughs> like, you're fling it around like when you're Skin asking. What this is? Can I explain what a helicopter yes, is, yes. please? I'm just enjoying yeah, if you, it. If, if, <laughs> like if you grab it at the shaft, it's a helicopter. If you grab it at the tip, it's spinning around. It's a jumping rope. You got a huge <laughs> dick, my friend. That is, uh, or um, very short friends. Uh, must, yeah. be good, must, yeah. must be a good way to dry off. Uh, what? Oh, to dry to dry off? Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah. and I never did it like that. Mm. I am an overshaker when it comes to peeing. I gotta say, <laughs> oh, yeah, it's an issue. Uh, you could use toilet paper, you guys. <laughs> I'm not gonna take really, forever. Yeah, that's yeah, just too. I just, forever. I'd rather spend an extra, you know, three. I, I shake shakes. my dick for five minutes after I. <laughs> five yeah. minutes. Yeah, looks like you're jerking. Use off. a toothbrush. It, what? What? <laughs> that a, that girl just really thing? clean it off. <laughs> you know nothing about dick shaking. Nope. Wow. <laughs> It's been ages since you last shook a dick. <laughs> <laughs>